James Palms here. What's up guys, James Palms here. Here's a little update video on how to grow um, uh, Trekkie Carpus Fortunae, a common windmill palm from seed. Um, so these are actually the first ones here. I made this video, this is an update. I think this is part four. Um, it'll be called whatever it is. So these guys here though, that's how they're looking. These were the first couple. This one's actually got another frond poking up in the center. So these were like the first three uh, that I took out that sprouted. I remember I, I did a little video and I had I put a bunch of seeds in here, um, probably from the other ones not being wrapped up, the lack of humidity, the other ones are not sprouting. I put about 20 seeds in there, uh, pardon me, and I only had two pop up, but uh, nevertheless there were two. I got hundreds more, thousands and thousands of seeds. So. But I put these in here, so all I did was put the seeds in, saran wrap it, um, if you can watch this whole series of how I did it. And uh, same similar thing here, these ones I just sprouted them in just a cup of water, and then I tucked them in here. So those were two different easy ways. Baggy way was the other way, and then this was a new way that I sort of touched on, and then this is also, I did these later. Um, all I did was fill this little salad container about half full with seeds, and filled it up with water and let it sit for a couple of days and then I put the soil in there and just uh, dry soil in there. I drained, drained most of the water out, threw some dry soil in, shook it around, closed it up and then I waited about four or five weeks and then they, then they started coming up. So I have a couple of these little containers like this too. So this is how they're all looking today anyways and you definitely don't want these palms are uh, a little sensitive to sun especially at this age so uh, keep them in not full sun uh, unless it's cloudy like if it's a little overcast like today it's very humid but right now it's quite overcast so this is okay to have them sitting out in a little bit of sun but that's how they're looking anyway so they're all coming along this is uh, not very good there'll be tons more coming up you can see them all everywhere there'll be there'll be new ones sprouting um, you can look even in the sides I can see tons of more roots so um, yeah there's probably two, I don't know there's got to be over a thousand seeds in there so uh, right now you got 30 40 palms that have spotted up uh, sprouted up here there's probably a lot more to come but uh, even if there wasn't I don't really care I don't need hundreds of these things these are uh, the babies from my palms here that I've grown uh, in southern Ontario Canada so for four years four growing seasons now and uh, one of them, the male, was the first time it ever flowered was here in the ground. It tried to flower my first year. Uh, it was flowering at the wrong time, and then it got adjusted, and uh, and I used it to pollinate them uh, last last spring. So this is uh, from going from pollen uh, to one year and a couple months later, and this is what we have because it takes about a year to cook up the seeds on the female palm, which uh, was right over there. That was the female palm that cooked them up, and... Uh, yeah, I got thousands more of these seeds. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I'm probably not going to germinate them all just because I don't need thousands of these. I'm kind of just keeping them. And uh, if anybody does want to grow them or friends or family, I give them the seeds if they ever want to try them from seed. I don't know how long they'll last before they're completely garbage, but uh, I'm sure it'd be a little while, a couple years anyways. I'm assuming they would keep some viability. Um, anyways, uh, they're not getting moldy. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. So... Um, I'll just keep you updated on these. These are definitely a lot more slow growing than uh, Mexican fan palm, but I'll try to keep you updated and we'll see how fast we can do. We'll do some tricks, see how quickly we can get some of these starting to form some trunks and some, some real fronds. And uh, I would love to get one of these in the ground because that'd be really neat to have one that I've, uh, that I hand pollinated myself and then uh, grown and then grown from seed. And then obviously uh, second generation palm in the ground, that would be quite cool. So Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe later.